back around the beginning of November, I was purchasing my tickets for the whiskey festival that happened in January. And at the same time, there was this um, whiskey clear out for November 4th and 5th. So this was on November 4th when I went to the Strath to get my tickets for the uh, whiskey festival. And in that uh, collection was uh, this one here. It is a uh, Gordon and McPhail collection, 10-year-old Bal Blair. Now the reason I bought this was because it was on sale. It was about uh, 15 or 20 percent off. And I have had Bal Blair enough times, but I've never had an independent bottling of Bal Blair. You know, Bal Blair will have its vintages. This one actually has a 10 year age statement right there. And it's 43% alcohol by volume. Uh, it doesn't say when it was distilled, but let's see, it does say a few things on here. It says, uh, Specially selected production and bottled by Gordon and McPhail in Elgin, Scotland. In the back it says here, the McPhail Collection. Let me get uh, a little spyglass here. Okay, it's Highland. McPhail's collection is a small and exclusive range of fine single malt Scotch whiskies from distilleries throughout Scotland. From Balblair Distillery in the village of Edderton, formerly known as the Parish of the Peats, lies Balblair Distillery surrounded by a beautiful countryside. The distillery named after the nearby Balblair farm where it was originally built in the 1790s, moved to its present site in 1895. There's a tasting note after that, and it's Gordon and McPhail, 70 centiliters, so this is like for the UK market at uh, 700 mils. And this is the uh, special looking Gordon and McPhail cardboard presentation and this should be easy to open with our little notch right about come on there's our notch just got to get my f fat fingernail in there okay very easy to open no mess no fuss oh And we'll just pour us a wee dram right about there. Okay. Right away, even before nosing, I'm smelling something fruity. Not surprising. Um, it's bottled at 43%, did I say? Yes. And what did it cost? Get that stuff out of the way here. Okay. 99.91 10 cent deposit for the bottle it's a hundred dollars and one cent five percent gst that's five dollars and liquor tax nine dollars and 99 cents comes up to exactly <coughs> a grand total of a hundred <coughs> hundred and fifteen dollars for this 700 mils of Gordon and McPhail Bell Blair. Now I've liked Bell Blair in the past. Oh. It's got that same kind of Bell Blair fruity character. It looks like it's natural color. And what kind of legs do we have? Oh, they come right down. 
They do not stick to the side of the glass very much at all. They just zoom down. Is it that I did not wash the glass properly? Or is this just a light whiskey? Light and fruity. Maybe it needs to open up for about 10 minutes before I can actually go for it. Well, you know what? It will probably open up in the bottle anyway as time goes by. Let's see if I can get anything on the nose. Fruits. Pears. Pears and white grapes. Not really much else. Or has my nosing been screwed up by the gin that I had? I just had some Ungaba gin. Pears and white grapes. I'm not getting much else. Maybe it's just confined. Maybe it just needs to open up in the bottle somewhat. Maybe a little bit of water will help it. First, I'm going to taste it neat. Mm. Oh. Oh, that is nice. I'm getting peppery. White pepper. Very peppery. White pepper and light grapes, white grapes, you know, the light colored grapes. Um, pears. Now that I've had a sip on the nose, there's a bit of vanilla. A mild little sousson. And spicy, peppery, white pepper, white pepper, quite a lot of pepper, a lot more pepper than I've ever encountered from a, um, from a Bal Blair before. Bal Blairs would usually be richer and fruitier. And not as dry as this. Uh, hmm. What does it? There's a little printing on on there saying 2004 16. Okay. Could have been bottled the 20th, January, February, March, April of uh, 2016. That's probably what it is. 20th of April, 2016. Oh. Different. 
different from other Bell Blairs that I've ever had. And you get none of that spiciness on the nose. None at all. There's fruit on the sides of the mouth and under the tongue. It's mostly pears and white grapes or light green kind of grapes. But then, then there's all that spice, white pepper. And the white pepper it lingers for a while and it's dry. It's a dry finish. I wonder what will happen to this as it opens up a little bit. Maybe, okay, let's give it just a wee bit of water. It's about half a teaspoon there. Let's see if adding water does anything but bring out the fruit and maybe get rid of some of that white pepper Does it improve the legs at all? Probably not. No. This thing has no legs at all. Or maybe I didn't rinse the glass properly. I don't know. Ah. With the addition of water, I seem to be getting more fruits. A little bit of apple now coming in, which was not there before. Yes, the fruits have really, the fruits are coming through a lot more now that I've opened it, now that I've put water in there. Oh, this is far richer than it was. It's still relatively light. Mostly what's changed is that there's apple there where it didn't used to be. Now let's taste that. Mm-hmm. Oh. Oh. Okay. Wow. That's really dry now that I've added water. It's drier than it was. Do that again. More fruit on the nose. The addition of water has really opened this up. Where I was getting just white pepper before, now I'm getting cloves and I'm getting cinnamon and I'm getting quite a lot of spice. Not just white pepper like it was before. Now there's all kinds of spices in there. All spice, perhaps? Yes. There's apple and pear and white grape, but only on the sides and to the back of the mouth. What's up front is the spice. The spices.
Wow. And really, really enjoyable too. I didn't think I would like an overly spicy whiskey and I did not expect the spice in this because Bao Blair is usually just very fruity and um, you know maybe this was aged in um, European oak at least part partially and that's where we're getting all that spice from from the from the oak from the barrels European oak and yeah, there's, there's all that spice. Wow. And still, it's very light in color. So, I don't know how old these, or how used these barrels were that they used, or how, <coughs> how old, or how used the casks were that they used to make this. But the fruit part is delicious. It, it comes on with the fruit first and then blam you get hit with the spices. Quite nice. And it's not, it's just right. It's just balanced right. Uh, I think this is going to become this is going to get really good as it, as the bottle uh, as the fill level goes down you know to about here it's going to get really good I think I predict it's certainly more interesting than other bell blares that I have had because of that heavy spice kick which I really was not expecting I thought oh yeah this will be fruity but anyway It's not your average Bell Blair. And on that note, Slanchava. Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>